extend it yesterday. So make sure. Hello everyone. Hi Miss Nell Sweet. We're gonna do a denim chin uh, tutorial today. <laughs> Along today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna all right, everyone, it's okay. You can take a screenshot uh, at what I do so you can um, follow along later on if you're not at your station. Okay, make sure you have everything out. Make sure you have all this out. And for the blue today, this is what I'm going to choose. So it's going to look like this. It's deep. It's really deep so I'm gonna use this you can choose any shade of blue of your choice but remember whatever shade that uh, you choose is gonna be the color of your chin so I wouldn't choose something that's so like like an ultramarine like like this blue I don't know yeah I get it can be denim but you don't want anything that too crazily bright you want it to be deep enough like this Supply all over the nail. Today we're gonna do about uh, two, two different look up denim. Mm -hmm. Rip chin. Hi Anna Marie. Hello. Good morning. Yes, yeah, you want to do something really, really uh, deep. Let me let give you two minutes to get everything ready. Get all the color ready and then paint it a nail on. You know, I got to think first time the alarm goes off. This is sad, I am. All right, and then uh, if you're done, you can just get a nude of your choice. This is gonna be the skin colors. You can apply it all in one nail. Yeah. So we're gonna do denim around it. So, uh, Later on, you get to choose whatever it's going to look like. It's going to be your choice. Uh, can, can we mix pigments in base coat or top coat? Um, if you want to mix pigment, then you mix it in top coat, matte top coat. If you want to mix the colors, I will take this right here. Um, if you want it to be navy, I mix with just a tiny bit of yellow. It become navy and then you mix with black. If you have a bright, bright blue pigment, that's how you mix it. It's black and a little bit of yellow. Good morning, Juita. And that's pretty much it. It's just a base color, and then you take your ombre sponge and white polish, and that's where you make the texture of the denim. All right, times. Uh, let me go get a sponge. Sponge. So make sure you have one too. It's available on Tina for that shop. Hold on, let me post my live first. At lives. Okay, make sure you go find yourself an ombre sponge. If you're not, then you can settle for a makeup sponge. 
this live. Let me hold on. Let me comment a little bit. Will not be same. Okay. All right. Now you take our palette. Let me find an empty palette right here with some white polish. So get myself this polish right here. Whatever white polish you want. So by now, you should have like a nude nails and then uh, one blue nail. You can have another nude if you want. Some white polish out. I'm going to brush it on the surface so it's not too thick. Okay, you don't need this to be too thick. So I'm going to brush it out to make sure that it's all nice and flat. All right, let me get my sponge. Now, I'm gonna take this sponge, I'm gonna dab it just one or twice, and then I'm gonna dab it out here where I don't have anything. I don't want it to have too much gel because when it don't have too much gel, it have this little texture right here. Let me show you on the jean. Lightly dab. See that texture? You want that texture to be all over. But very lightly. You sell that sponge? Yes, Auntie Navoda shop. <clears throat> In a uh, essential category, you find an ombre sponge. Very lightly. See that? Very light. If you press, you won't see that little chin texture anymore. It'll be all nice and even and you don't want that. You want it to be like this. Okay. How long do the sponges last? The sponge, you can use it for one day. You can dab it on a paper towel to remove the gel, or you can just throw away after each client because it's only like 90 cents or something. Cure this. Now this, I'm gonna make jean texture around it. So I'm taking a palette, I'm applying my blue gel polish out. kind of spun, regular uh, ombre sponge. Mm -hmm. It's an ombre sponge. Can I make up sponge or something else? Uh, make up sponge, you can. Just make sure you choose something that has like, a little hole on it. Some makeup sponge is very smooth, like the flat one, the round, flat, pink one, are very, very smooth. You want to choose like a white triangle one, the one that have hole. If you can see, that's a little hole on the surface right here. So make sure you choose it wisely. So they need something with very tiny, tiny little pores in it. Yeah. Now, um, what we need is a 10 millimeter brush. So my hole, I want it to be, um, I'll say, it, Mm, let me see. Like this. Want it to be like that. Maybe another one down here. Okay. So you just design your hole however you want it to be. And then you feel a uh you feel blue gel around it. Feel? Yes. I'm gonna chew a feel a brush. And I'm gonna feel blue gel around this. He is making denim. Yeah, up today in the Afib Live is denim. Uh, yesterday I told you to get all this out 
so we can do it today so these are you need if you want to take a screenshot if you missed yesterday you can take a screenshot of it this material you need so uh, the one that are behind still keep working on it uh, you just basically distribute color out right now and using the sponge so until now everything is easy breezy the new just matte no the new it's just new there's nothing on it no top coat i just apply blue gel directly in between <coughs> so now you have a little hole where uh, later on you can make a ribbage around it Is it best to use a blue that's more pigmented or does it matter? Um, if it pigment is great. If it uh, pigmented is great. You don't want anything too watery anyway. Here this. And watery. And then here you can, you can stop or you can actually dab a little more if you want it to be washed. Like like a wash effect, it will be more texture right in the middle so that part can be like wash if you know what I mean Yeah, you can use blue that are more pigmented. Nails by Nicole. Same thing on here. I will take ombre sponge. And I will sponge on my white polish. And lightly. It's okay if you have it uh, over your nude. Because you can always wipe it up with Aston or alcohol. It's very easy to wipe it up later. Here, this now next is the shadow shadow is optional I'm gonna teach you how to do shadow but it's totally optional if you want to skip that however if you practice with me you should do that too just in case okay so I'm gonna get shined it out and black polish out so I can mix into like a sheer black. That's how I'm gonna do the shadow. Later on, I will have a black stained glass gel. So it will save more time, but now I'm gonna mix black and clear. Not gonna be clear all the way, but that will do for now. Just make a semi uh, transparent colors. And this is a filler brush, by the way. So it's actually a flat brush, it's not really a brown brush. So let's say I want to make like um, a, a line across here, like a spine of the jean. So Jeez. I'm doing shadow on this side. And shadow on this side. And then maybe one in the middle too. Just like that. I'm adding a little bit more on the side so it's more defined. This is interactive, baby. Mm -hmm. is interactive so I give you uh, about two minutes for this it should be very simple
then after we're gonna take white texture effect and we're gonna paint like stitches vertically along here so that's what I'm planning you can even do a pocket while I'm waiting I'm gonna paint another nails and I'm gonna do a pocket just in case you want to do the pocket, you can. So I'm going to cure this and I'm going to paint another nails. Take this one out. Take an empty nail, I'm going to paint it blue. I'm going to make it just like the other one, but I'm going to put some pocket on it. They <laughs> thought, they thought you were doing the side-by-side -side with it and they were trying to keep up. Yeah, I, I, I am. Oh, you're doing it right now? Mm -hmm. But until this point, it's just very simple. It's just color on and then sponge on. Nothing special going on yet at this point. At this point, you should have like two or three nails. You have, wherever you have blue, you just remember to sponge it. That's it. I'm still waiting on the shadow, so no rush on the shadowing. Cause I'm still have these and these to shadow, so no worry. Still going at it if you're behind. It, you just put blue on and then sponge it. Alright, let me sponge this one too. Oh wait, I have to cure this. All right, I'm gonna shadow this uh, one right here. So that's the hole right here. So I'm just gonna shadow around it. This, it just give it a little more depth whenever you're done with it. So again, you can do it right now, but later on you have an option to skip this if you want. See, just make it a little nicer when it's done. Put an empty brush with no gel on it. I fray the edge out so it's not too solid. Now I'm gonna make a pocket on this one so you know what uh, what a pocket like. If you wanna draw a pocket. So I, again, I take sheer black and I paint it one line through another line through this lining of the po pocket. And then one line down Then slanted line. Okay. Make sure that I wipe away all my gel. Empty brush. I take that and I start blending it down. Away from the pocket. Away from the pocket. How long make cure for? Cure for cure. 45 seconds or 60 seconds. 
So is that how you do a pocket? If you want to do a pocket. So I shall give you two minutes to complete the shadowing. Shadow is easy too, because it's sheer black. You're not going to be able to ruin it. Not going to be able to ruin it. No. It's sheer black. Make sure you complete this. I'm going to cure this pocket right here. Whoever done, gonna go ahead and matte top coat this. Whoever not done, still keep going. Okay, from this point on, all you need is some white texture effect and it's all come to life. I use it too much. This, it look like this, but it's white. So white texture effect will give it like extra uh, vavoom. Make it all come to light. I'm gonna put matte on this now. Whoever still doing shadow, keep doing it. Chin uh, denim technique is a very easy technique to accomplish. It's only require about three step, and you're done. It's a very good uh, effect to show off to your client. What make it look like chin is the ombre sponge. Okay, I'm gonna put matte top coat on this pocket too. Okay, let's do this rip chin first. See, this texture effect gel is special. Also, uh, if you have metal effect gel over there, take it out too. If you don't, then you can get you this for the stitches. It just is a little thick to draw stitches, so it will be slightly bit messy. I use it to draw the, the thread. This I use to draw the stitches because it's thinness. Texture effect gel, what is this? Uh, oh, oh, welcome to our live. So you knew, uh, texture effect gel is a tech, uh, is a gel to texturize and it adheres chrome. It's the only one in the market right now that are non cell leveling. So uh, yeah, as you watch uh, our live, especially on Wednesday, you will find out a lot about texture effect gels. Applying the palette strong, it's only three so You start in the middle and push up. Then free edge it round it up, mm -hmm. yep. And if you don't have the texture effect gel uh, yet, um, you can take a white polish. Um, you can mix it with acrylic to make it a little thicker. Uh, that will get you by. All right. Get you by. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hebe is a nail beginner. She like you have to put three strokes on the little nails. I remember uh, I do that in school a lot. Follow every single rules. That's how you find a tell about immature nail tech and professional nail tech is that we're not afraid to break rules. All right, now time to take uh, take white texture effect gels, and I will choose a liner brush first, and I will want to string it like this. See a little string. It's necessary. So spider gel, um, you can do spider gel too, but uh, make sure that it's no wipe. Um, yeah. Because if it's sticky, it's just not gonna be shiny. If you're okay with it, then then go for it. Because if you mix uh, gel polish with acrylic, it's not gonna be shiny neither. It's gonna be like uh, matted, which is fine. I mean, your thread, it can be matted. You see, it shows more of a shiny. Mm hmm. 
Spider Joe, you think, will work? Spider Joe? Uh, yeah, it nice will, spider. it will, but uh, it will be very good with this stringing process right here. But uh, if it no wipe, that would be way better. Just doing a little thread around. This one, you can... Um, you can have all the freedom that you want. You can do it however you want it. Um, my preference, I like to uh, skip. I like to, to, to space it out. But you don't have to. Let me do the metal uh, more in the metal. You don't have to. But I like to space it out. You can do it all from top to bottom the same way. Or you can skip it. I, I think skipping it is more natural. See a little space in between. Now, um, you see the little shadow that it cascaded. It's so thick. Um, so spider gel, it'll be a little thinner than this. That's what's going to happen when you use spider gel. And yes, he does sell the texture gel. Mm-hmm. Cure this. So you see how easy it is? Even a two years old can do that. Gene technique is very easy. You don't require any skill at all. You just require product <coughs> and sponge it and tools, but no skill involved in this. <coughs> they are the fun, fun design. Um, well, I, I hope somebody doesn't not get it because they're just going to feel crushed. Well, I chew in the active life today, uh, so as you know, I only demo one um, design once on in the active life. So this denim in the active life, I might demo it on Wednesday, but to the follow along, uh, I'm not gonna do uh, the in the active life on denim for a while, probably till next spring. But I'm still gonna uh, demo for you in. Uh, Nails party, just not to follow along. Uh, next time we're gonna move on to a different subject on the interactive live. The yes, uh, uh, Flary, you might see me um, doing demo it on like Wednesday or or so. But um, interactive live, we wanna do different thing every time. We don't wanna do the same thing every time. So I choose today for interactive live on the team. So this, I just make little shirt textures. I'm still choosing the Lana brush, but you can choose another brush if you're comfortable with that brush. I'm just gonna do a little line to make like a fray, fray edge. Makes me wanna touch them. So where is that located on, on, on the... Uh, oh, no problem, Mama Bunny. Take your time. You got plenty of time. This is the last step. So you have all the time you need. See how fat it is? Just three steps. String it out if you want to. See this little bit right here. You can just have a little, little thread hanging out. If that makes you happy, do it. <laughs> Have you 
get your inspiration. Inspiration? Like the designs you do, I haven't seen anywhere else. How do you think of, I'll create denim nails. You have to be happy. You have, you have to be happy. When you're happy, um, you, you become very creative when you're happy. If you stress and you're not creative, then you'll be blocked. Seems to me what happens is you find something you really like and it jumps out at you, whether it's a fashion dress or a purse or a tree or something, a forest or a leaf, and then you just get obsessed until you figure out how to make it look exact. And then after you figure out how to make it look exact, then you break it down and come up with easier steps to do it in. Seems to be the process. That yeah, the spider gel, not, but uh, baby sweet, now you have a chance to, uh, now you have the chance to see what's the difference between spider gel and texture gel now um, after you use it. Yeah, you have to be inspired and excited when you look at something. You have to take care of yourself and put yourself in a good mood so you have that natural excitement. I'm gonna uh, you take your gel still, but a liner brush, dip it in. And uh, I'm, I'm actually gonna do this first. I'm gonna do a little stitch it. So this is texture gel. Now, the other side, I'm gonna take metal effect gel. I just wanna show you the, the difference. This one, I struggle a little bit, cause it's thicker, so I have to be neater when I'm applying it. But whatever you apply on, you don't need to cure it. I mean, you don't need to, you need to cure it, you don't need to wipe it. So you can leave it in bars, no top coat needed. Yeah, that's it, Hope Silver. Okay, I'm gonna use Metal Effect Gel on this side. So this, um, the different thing about this than texture effect is, is cell leveling. So you cannot engrave on a white metal effect gel. Metal effect gel is completely smooth. Uh, the consistency is perfect for drawing. Also no wipe, so you can leave it without top coat. So basically it's thinner than texture effect. It's very easy to draw. It's built for drawing. Texture effect is built for texture light rising. So when you draw, it's very difficult to draw. Metal effect is completely for drawing. Cure this. <coughs> <clears throat> Same with the pocket. So, so I just have some gel here. See, I don't have a lot of gel on my brush yet. Just even. I, I just lay it down and I run a little bit and lift, run and lift, run and lift. Just like that, all the way down. lift, just touch it, run a little bit and lift, just like that. That's how you make it straight. Good. Most people, when they don't know, they, they run a little bit and they lift all the way and then they try to find that exact spot. So if you don't lift your hand all the way, you can just run with it. Keep it straight, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I think that would be a hard habit to break though. Practice, practice. 
And here, you can stop right here. I wonder if I can do something um, in the middle right here. Maybe give it a little extra effect. Maybe. I think it looks pretty like this though. <laughs> See how easy it is? This design is no problems. Very easy. See how quick too? Oh my God, it's just 10.30. Right, I was just sitting here thinking, I hear you've been moving. It's the perfect pace. I and it's like your, three design. I love your slowness. And I'm not even demo it, I'm going along, so I'm going slower, to, slower than usual. But still, it only takes 30 minutes. Usually a tutorial will take an hour for like a 10 minute design. So you can tell how fast it is. You probably do a whole set. It take you about 15 minutes to do a whole set. Uh, a zipper. Yes, I can. Let me uh, find the steps. I can do a zipper. Now, let me try to find pieces. I can do zippers. I can uh, find the triangles. I mean, uh, rectangles. Uh, let's see what else. I need like a square piece. Mm, I don't have the actual, actual um, little piece, but I guess you can find it on Amazon. Uh, which is June this then, the moon shape for now. Okay, and then a big triangle. We, we thought you were just going to draw one. No. Uh, uh, is stat, uh, we're using stud technique. So um, for a zipper, you need to start with a new nail, of course. Um, the stud is not on my side yet. <coughs> I have it, but not a lot in stock. That's why I don't put it on. I don't want to back order on it. Hmm. But stud is very easy to find. You can find it on studs everywhere. All right. So uh, for the zipper, I'm gonna paint it the nude nails. Kind of cure that. Are you going live again? later to show the technique. Nope. Uh, interactive live on uh But you want to show it during nail party, right? Yes, nail party. I'm going to do demo, but I'm not going to do the follow along. So it's going to be slightly faster. I'm going to do many, many different designs. Uh, interactive live, I only do one style. So you can follow along and I'm doing it slower than usual. So you can catch up. Cause I'm doing it three different now, so you can have plenty of time to catch up with me. And now I'm doing another one, so I'm actually repeating the technique now, just in a different design. So you can tell how fast a uh, gene technique how is. How easy it is. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. It's easy. Now, this, uh, I'm gonna do a zipper. So I'm gonna establish where my gene part is. So I'm thinking zipper should be down here. And it kind of unzip and it's go up. Well, you got me curious where you're going with it. And then I'm going to paint it everything blue on the outside. Yeah, uh, Nails Party is always on Wednesday. Now, Interactive Live, usually on Monday, uh, Sunday and Monday, 
and I did both of uh, Sunday, Monday this week. Uh, so I'm just feeling good. So I'm just adding another day in, uh, in that to lie in a small little life or very uh, sporadic. You can always check my Instagram just to see my schedule because uh, I will put it in. If you don't check it, you will easily miss it. Uh, let me show you where to check it. See my Instagram? This is where all the live schedule is. If you don't check it, you might miss one or two because sometimes I just put it on the night before. So if you click on this, you can see that now tomorrow it starts at 6. So nails party starts at 6 tomorrow. 6 p.m. Yeah. Hear this? Nails party. <laughs> this in okay now on this side I'm gonna still take the sponge and I'm gonna sponge this chin part right here. Okay, now I'm gonna cure this. I'm, actually, I'm gonna sponge a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna cure this. Now. Hi, Hong An. Hello. Yes, that is just regular nail polish. Uh, G Nails 13. This is an ombre sponge, aka um, Miss Saitama uh, ombre sponge. You can find it at www.tinovo.shop for ombre sponge. Maybe think it uh, to also come on YouTube. Uh, nope. I will not post it on YouTube. Uh, YouTube, I'm posting just a short video right now. Because live, it takes uh, really long, so people don't really have patience to watch it. Um, that's why I encourage to just uh, be here and watch it. Whatever you miss, you miss. Okay, now, on this one, I'm going to go ahead and put mat on this. Now, put some matte top coat on here. So, this is basically done. Now, you just put on the zippers. On the zipper, I'm gonna use gold stud for it. Gold studs. Um, actually, I'm just been on for like uh, since 10 o'clock, so it's only 46 minutes. Uh, the chin technique is just so fast. Right now, I'm doing an extra one. I'm doing a zipper one because it's so fast. Okay, let's see the zippers. All right, now I'm going to use some gold stud. So let's take out rectangles. I wish I had smaller rectangles. Smaller what? I'm going to use crystal magic glue to put on gold stud. If you don't have crystal magic glue, then you put the stud on first, but you will need to top coat it. But I don't need to top coat this one. 
Now I'm gonna get some crystal magic glue. Put one on. Actually, I'm gonna use some beat too, some gold beat in between this. This is the first time we've made it this long. I mean, got all the cats and dogs, and uh, it was a good walk we gave them when they wore them out. What did you do to the darker parts of the denim? Um, that is just a blue a polish. The lighter part is where I'm sponging it. I'm taking an ombre sponge, I put some white gel on, and then I lightly sponge on top so it gives it lighter texture, kind of like a wash chin texture. But the darker part, that's just I'm, the part where I start with in the beginning, and it's just a blue polish, nothing special. I just do a really deep, deep color. This one is hollow, so I think that I, what I should have done is to use gel instead of glue, since this stud is hollow. What time is it in Belgium right now? Because maybe the 6 p.m. here might catch Belgium at a good time. Yeah, tomorrow it's gonna start at 6 p.m. Central Time. Is that caviar beef between? Uh, yes, and uh, Dreamtime do sell this. It's not on, on my part, though. It's not on tinovo.shop, but uh, it's in Dreamtime Creation, which is the same website. If I ever tell you that, you can buy crystal and nail art in the same place. Um, so you just click search, and you just search for um, gold beads. Using gel or glue now? Uh, this time I'm using glue, but I should have used gel because um, I forgot the fact that this stud is hollow. So when it's hollow, it's hard to adhere on the surface than flat back. But it's okay. But you wouldn't want to send a client out that way, right? Mm. When I started something, I don't want to stop in the middle and start something new, so I just go all the way with it. You should offer nail art kits to buy everything we need yes. in one go. Yes, yes. that is coming very soon. Can it just Cindy's in Florida right now, so... Monkey pox? What the hell is monkey pox? Monkey pox is like chicken pox, except for it's for... It's, it's, you look like a monkey instead of look like a chicken. It was, it was what, what, wondering if you were worried about the monkey pox with your clients. Monkey pox? Oh, is it new? I, I thought it just looked like chicken pox. We don't watch news. Except for if it looked, if chicken pox looked like chicken, then monkey pox, it looked like monkey. It looked like pox on the monkey. <laughs> so it's monkey that sits. So I don't have the actual zipper uh, that you have to buy it if you plan that out. I don't have the actual zipper. So what I do is I'm going to take some moon shape. I'm going to improvise a zipper. 
some moon shape I put it right here and then some uh, triangle shape so remember fast thinking too fast reaction is always good if your client say can you do a zipper you always say yes and then you just find the material in your head while you filing the nails so remember fast reaction And that's pretty much done. Put some triangle up. Luckily, we're not around too many people. Thank you. Take a picture of this. And that's why it's also important to have so many tool, little knick-knack tools and toys. And These are so cute. The more products you got, the more you can create. You know, right, Tina? Yeah. These are so cute and easy. Everyone, there should be a lot of people who have denim nails and tag me. <coughs> denim nails. This one is so easy. We just fly by it. Very, very simple. Three step. Blue on, sponge, little bit of shadow if you want to. If you don't want to, you can skip that. And then just matte top coat and white texture effect on. So for you see technique, this is what important, the white texture effect gel and sponge. Let me get the black one so you can see the name too. So texture effect gel and sponge is the most important thing. Sponge, it can be replaced. If you can find a, a, a just as good sponge, you can use that. Uh, texture effect gel is non-replaceable. Uh, that's the only product that are important in this technique. Everything else, no skill. You don't need to know how to draw or anything. You just slap it on, literally slap it on. Yes, I agree. Definitely need specific product, baby sweet. You can definitely get by with um, some concoction, but look how easy and simple it is. Save you so much time. Please try and then please uh, tag me on your creation. I, I really want to see a lot of good one too. There's, there's really no excuse on this one. Oh, this is not a set. This is not a set. This is random. Uh, if I were to do a set, I will either pick this or this. Okay. Three will be dramatic. But usually I have two out. And then on this one, I will have like a new and white ombre with some blue crystal on. This one probably either um, all crystal, all blue crystal on the entire nails, or all blue glitters, or if you want, then you can also have one in the pinky. But never all three together. Uh, this will be the middle fingers, like a nice white ombre. The thumb, same <coughs> things. You have to break it apart. You cannot do all together. It looks too crazy. This right here, and then like um, an ombre finger should be in the middle. Let me see if I have an ombre fingers. They also want to see it from the side. I don't have an ombre finger. Okay, this from the side. Look at the texture of the white. Now this one you don't see a lot of te textures. Got you a thinner gel for this one. But look how flat it is. Smooth. Because it's only required a little gel. There's not a lot of gel to require, so uh, this one right here is very textury on the side. See that? Of course, you have to top coat this. So let me top coat it to show you guys how to top coat it. So I'm using the crystal sealer pen. I twist it. can also purchase it on Dreamtime Creation. If you don't get used to their website and uh, order from their website, it's very confusing because they have a lot of crystal. So what you, what I do is I always click search. That save me time. I never spend time to look for it. I always click search and put the keyword in there. Now I'm going to wait a little bit so the top coat have time to drip down to the stud. 
grab like on top no just wait for it to drip down you have to wait for it it's gonna drip down to the bottom the stud and that's when you can clear it and if you want you can just wipe a little bit top coat on top because you don't need the top coat to be on top you just need it to be on the bottom okay, Okay, when done, here. Did you put mad? That was good to finish the dental effect. Yes, I I put mad first already. All of this before I put the texture on, I put matte, and then I put the texture on. All right, everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed the live today. How would you make a zipper that is close for a, for a little part? <clears throat> um, for zippers, this actually, uh, I just come up with this on the spot. But for zipper, it helps if you have smaller rectangles Maybe and an, ac an actual zipper, like an actual um, zip zipper charm. You can find an Amazon, Google <laughs> zippers charm. Or you can use an actual zipper. It's just some smaller one that you find. All right, everyone. I will see you at 6 p.m. tomorrow. I'm placing order for the bubble effect and texture gel. Yes, bubble effect is also very important. Tomorrow is 6 p.m. Central Time. Now, tomorrow is not interactive. Tomorrow is nail party days. So, I'm going to do all kind of different nail art tomorrow. So, I will see you tomorrow. Doing one more, please. Nope. Uh, we're done for today. Um, we, uh, I will see you tomorrow at 6. You're welcome, various nails. You're welcome. you welcome, honey. <laughs> Minis. What color blue do you use? I use this. So it's Tinker Taylor by Magpie. I want to chew a deep blue. Uh, you want to avoid like ultramarine. Ultramarine is like bright. For denim, it's good to chew navy. Navy is like blue with slightly yellow tone in it. So it's navyish. You want to choose that. If you don't have that, you take like a pigment, like a bright pigment, you mix it with base coat to make like a bright blue, but then you mix it with black polish so it deepers. And then you mix a little yellow in it, it will become navy. Uh, yes, I will, uh, Luthi, uh, Luthi Care Salon. Oh, you're welcome, Charlie. The, I hope uh, I'm very excited. Uh, to see the recreation of this. Everyone should be able to do this. This is so cute too. Yes, I use my pigment a lot. Uh, Miss Nell Sweet. It's my first time doing denim there. It's so cute, Nicole. I love it. Look at the texture. That's another thing that a uh, white metal effect can do. As we go along, you will find out a lot of things that metal, uh, texture effect, I mean not metal effect. Texture effect. You find out a lot of things that it can do. You welcome Kenzie Kens. Yes, Moni. You welcome Alicia. Uh, did you just finish? Yes, I just finished. Um, <clears throat> then um, uh, I'm still gonna demo it on Wednesday You're for you guys. Party. It just this interactive, so everybody doing it along, so they have. If they want to do along, they have chance to do along today. But it's not like you're not going to see it again. You will see it on Wednesday. I just, I'm not going to do interactive on denim until next spring. But I'm still going to demo it on Wednesday. Just remind me. Go in and say, hey, Tino, can you de uh, demo uh, denim again? And I will. Um, yes, yeah, see, you, see you next time. Um, Japanese, remember to tag me. All right, everyone. Thank you, Ian E. Now for sharing it with everyone. I hope everyone have fun today. 
bubble effect uh, liquid is a uh, is a solution actually in acid base solution uh, when you mix a drop into any polish it make it bubbly that was a uh, bubble effect is you welcome Carrie uh, Halloween is coming up can we see Pennywise from it yes we will do an interactive live on Pennywise it's semi difficult I will start you out with something easy first so I'm um, I'm thinking. Yeah, and I maybe for Christmas is a must too. Um, I'm thinking since it's not yet near October, I'm starting out with Casper. Uh, because cartoon is popular right now and Casper is cute. cute. So we might start out with Casper <coughs> first. And of course, some, um, some of Autumn Fall Design too. Yes, bubble effect is a lot of fun. It's very special too. You like to see chicks play chicks? I'm not sure. Chicks. Chicks. Not familiar. But uh, Chunky. Oh, Chucky. Chucky. Yes, yes. Oh, Chucky. Yes. Casper. Uh, uh. Oh, Vampire. Yes. You guys will have a, a blast um, starting from today, starting from August. Uh, give me one week. I will plan out what day I need to do seasonal design. I need to plan out the design too because I need to start something easy for you guys. I'm not going to jump into like it immediately because to draw a clown, you need some practice first. So you need something easier first. Yeah, and then I, I work you um, all the way up to it uh, within a month. So uh, in August, you have to pay very close um, attention um, so they can gain better. in August because whatever design you miss in August, you will miss the whole year long because it's seasonal. It's seasonal meaning I'm doing Casper, I'm not going to repeat it. I'm doing Casper. Tomorrow is Nails Party, Taruna. Nails Party is random. I can do whatever that involves product and technique, different technique. But I'm talking about design. Technique is like, denim is a technique. This is a technique. But you can do zipper design, you can do shred, drip chin design, you can do pocket, you can do a lot of design. So don't mistake design for technique. Nails party day is all about the technique. And then the design, uh, it's going to be like today, a technique, uh, chin denim using, uh, doing, using that technique to do different design. But uh, seasonal design, however, uh, is a design that I teach people. Um, for the season so whatever design that I go through I will not repeat it until next year <coughs> oh maybe next year I do different things so seasonal design if you want to get as much at uh, season design as possible you're gonna want to pay very close attention to our live schedule because we will not repeat um, like Halloween design if like in Christmas um, Christmas holiday well, time, we're... then we have to do Christmas. We're not going to have time to turn around to Halloween. So remember to pay very close attention uh, starting now. So I g give me one week. I will think and next week I will have a day for it. I'm thinking about uh, Tuesday. Mm, I'm still thinking about it. Tuesday or Thursday, I'm not sure. Uh, but it might be more than one day a week, actually, since there's going to be a lot of design. Well, there's double holidays, too. I mean, well, fall and, you know, October. Yes. Halloween. Yes. And I will announce it uh, pop possibly tomorrow because as I go, I have to schedule my next one. So tomorrow, I have to schedule another one. So I'm thinking about Sunday is next interactive day. Uh, I'm thinking... I wonder what design should I teach on Sunday for interactive. Uh, that should be some kind of character painting. Some people want Tweety Bird, uh, but it's, I wonder if it's a little late in the year for Tweety Bird. Charlie Brown Halloween. Charlie Brown, yeah, we can do, we can do some Halloween in uh, Sunday actually for interactive. Uh, no sassy, I will not be safe in the live stream, but um, there is a couple people, uh, uh, E and E, 
that are saved. So you can uh, go and rewatch it later on. A scary cartoon. Uh, Casper is not scary. Um, I don't know. Um, Chucky? Chucky, but Chucky is a little difficult for just starting out. Uh, oh, fire! I'm gonna do a ghost and a fire. That's Casper. No, that's Casper. So I'm, I think of something. I think of something for you. We should do Jack from the Nightmare Before Christmas. Okay, let's do that. I agree. Let's prepare for that. So let's do um let, let's do Jack and Sally on Sunday. Let me go ahead and schedule it into because I like that idea. Let me go get my Schedule it on. Okay, is this live? Schedule interactive live. Check and Sally. Um, it's not a uh, difficult design, but it can be difficult if you want to make it real realistic. We got a lot of people, different people requesting Care Bears. Care Bear? Oh, Care you know bear. what? You're right. I should do a Care Bear. Just to get it out of the way. Because it's almost over. Let's get Care Bear out of the way. Care Bear. Uh, yeah, I know Coco Bunny, but uh, the reason I choose 10 o'clock instead of 12 because of India. That's 24 hour away. Care Bear. Uh, not 24, 12 hours. So India is at 9. If it's at 12, it'll be at 1 o'clock in India. Uh, Care Bear. Okay, let's get Care Bear out of the way. And then we can go ahead and do it next time. Next Next, next Sunday will be Jeff and Sally. So let's do Care Bear. So, in the active live audio schedule for Sunday, August 7 at 10 Central Time. Save it, save it. Oh, actually, take a screenshot of this so you know what time. The next live, too. Yeah. Take a screenshot of this so you don't miss out. Beetle Joe will be uh, in this season, of course, too. Um, actually, I need to write it down. I need to teach Jack and Sally for sure. Jackie for sure. J Jackie for sure too. And I, I definitely need to teach, um, Beetle Chewy. Would you say Beetle Chewy? Beetle Chewies. And then Casper. I have to have Casper in there. It's going to be so cute. Um, Jack, Jack and Sally. Chucky, Beetle Chewies, Casper. What else? Scream. Uh, scream. Mm, I, I just always hate Scream. I always hate Scream. I hate the movies. I hate everything about it. <laughs> I, 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 Nothing excites you on it? No. And I, I don't know why, but every time I see uh, like a clip, like I go... I click on TV, I see a clip, I get angry. Huh. I like scream, fuck this, and then I just turn the channel. And I do that every time. And I never watch the movies. I just don't know why I hate it so much. I hate scream. Um, the clown, yes, it. Yeah, it. Saw. Well, we got hooked on Saw, remember? Yeah, I like Saw. Yeah. But mm, I think that Matt is so ugly. But let's Creepy. do it, Saw. Hocus Pocus is for sure. Hocus. Oh, you get all excited. <laughs> Hocus. <coughs> I think there's a new one coming out too. Cause um, Freddie and Jason saw. Uh, give me, give me more, give me more. Annabelle. Ooh, it's creepy. Oh, uh, Annabelle. Mm. It scared me, but whatever. It's Annabelle. It's last on the list. 
Lahat yun, OS. Give me something to excite me. Stranger Thing, I already did that. And Stranger Thing, I'm not gonna do it this year because it's portrait. Uh, you're not ready for it yet. Not the majority of people ready for it yet. Um, okay. Scream face. No, uh, Kira Nails. I hate Scream. Uh, I always hate Scream. I don't know why. Uh, when I saw the face, it get me. It tick me off. Like when I look at it, like how something so ugly and creepy. Like it, it, it give me a weird feeling every time I see Scream. I get mad every time I see Scream. Uh, 3D eyeball. And I never watch the Scream movies. Squid Game uh, is um, it's, it's too old now. It's last year. Uh, Charm. Coraline. Mm. Coraline was popular. Is it still popular though? Coraline. Ghostbusters. Uh, I'm not sure what to draw on the Ghostbuster. Is it a movie? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, listen. And they just redid it. Jokers. Ghostbuster. Is Joker overrated? I'm not sure. I have been... Uh, uh, candy. Traditional. Traditional Halloween is a must. That's all the pumpkin, bats, ghost, witches. And uh, Jason... Mm, Nightmare on M Street... Oh, he's so ugly. I, I hate to draw Freddy. He's so ugly. Um, yes, Colin. At the bottom. Uh, yes. Coraline. Okay, Coraline. Colin is way off. Uh, be, just, I need to do some research to see if it's still in. If it's not in, then we can do that. Um, Twisty. Oh my God, Lula, you crazy. Twisty the Clown. From American Horror Story. Oh, oh my god. Ooh, ooh. No way in hell I'm gonna do quiz. Oh my god. Twisty haunted me in my nightmare. Sexy witch? Um, sexy witch. Maybe. Sexy witch. Ooh. That is, could be a very good idea. Actually, I, yeah, I like it. Uh, Jokers in Halloween and. Harley Quinn would be better than Joker. Hellraisers, yes, yes. Pinface. Hellraiser? 